DJ Ferris. Chicago, nigga. It's the real one. He back. Only one is pulling shit. Fuck up the. Let's get a sports talk. Impossible to believe the way this thing has gone. So we can take this in a couple of different directions. Let's start with the quarterbacks. Dan, if you're making that decision, who's the quarterback of the Bears next week? Yeah, this is easy, Nick Foles. I, I was waiting for the opportunity to go to him if I'm Matt Nagy because we were a 2-0 football team, but we weren't a 2-0 football team because of the way that Mitchell Trubisky was playing. And it was just a matter of... Because if Swift would have missed that catch, Detroit would have won that game. And the Bears been 0-1. Is Daniel Jones with a turnover the football? They probably potentially beat the Bears, and the Bears be 0-2. It's all about consistent. When you be inconsistent, it hurts your football team. Because the football team is good as their quarterback plays. And the door open for him because of Mr. Busy. Not being consistent. He made that mistake in that game by throwing that interception. Man, Nagy seen it. He said, we can't have this. We trying to win. Not do the same thing and start losing because of your inconsistent. So he brought a quarterback in that he trusted that was in his system that know how to run it. And Nick Foles, once he seen that inconsistent in this game, he pulled him. And now you in that pageant seat watching Nick Foles in the stars, starting job now. Because he going to trust Nick Foles. Time. He opened the door and Nick Foles not only walked through, but he stepped right through it and took over this football team. Trubisky, really the bad habits that he had success with caught up to him. The poor mechanics. The inability to see the football field. The lack of willingness to throw the ball downfield when the opportunity presented itself. The turnovers just became too much of a big deal. And Matt Nagy had to make the decision, I can no longer allow the quarterback to hurt our football team. And listen, we have to credit Nick Foles. He came in, rocked that tinted visor, and took this team down the field three times during the football game. Mitch Trubisky, barring injury to Nick Foles, will never play again for the Chicago Bears. It sounds like what Dan is saying is that playing the quarterback position got in the way of Mitchell Trubisky playing quarterback. Mm. Because he said basically he did nothing well. Yeah. Now you can go back to the second half of this game against the New York Giants last week. There's the Bradbury interception, the Julian Love interception. I believe that Matt Nagy and the Chicago Bears came into this game and said, if he doesn't play well, or play well early, he is out of here. I think they talked about that before they named him the starter. That they See what happened? The mistakes. Two picks in that Giants game. Okay. Let's see what you're going to do next week. Let's see if you don't get away from the mistakes that you made last game. You see what happened? They could have lost that game against the Giants. But if, if the Giants would have capitalized off of them mistakes Mitchell Vizzi gave them, the Bears would have lost that game. They got away with it. And he came into this game against Atlanta, did the same thing. And that's what happened. The trust went down with Nagy because he seen what you did in that game against the Giants that you got away with. But not in this game. You made that mistake again. He looked at Nick Foles and he looked at you and pulled you out of there. When you do things like that, make the mistakes, and it flashes before your eyes, it's like, we can't let this opportunity go. We have a good defense. We have a good offense. We just need someone that can operate it. And that's what Matt Nagy looking for. And Nick Foles is a guy he believes that can operate that for him. Move the Nick Foles when they need it. Rex, what did the quick hook Again, they're 2-0, and and it's just not even a, a, a whole game yesterday. What did that quick hook tell you? It told me exactly what Ryan was talking about. They were waiting. Mm -hmm. Hey, I don't care. When is it? When is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Now we're going to go get him. But that's, that's exactly what it was. But, guys, Nick Foles has never been the answer as a starting quarterback. I don't believe he's going to be the answer now. And 
the durability also is a, is a problem. And he could have thrown three interceptions in the in this game as well. So yeah. to me, I'm not buying it. I like the fact that he got rid of the visor later in the game, so that made a big difference. But here's what's going to happen, and I, and I know Bear fans won't want to hear it. At some point, he's going to come back in because Foles will not stay healthy. That's what he's shown through the years. So that's one side of the story yesterday. The other one is can only really be described in a sports parlance as a tragedy. The Falcons' back-to-back -back losses these two weeks are as bad as anything we've ever seen. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's unacceptable, Greeny. And, and it's hard when, when you do this job, and Rex is, was a great head coach in this league, you don't want to call for people's jobs. But the fact that Dan Quinn keeps getting... The Falcons' defense have not been good. That's the main reason people are allowed to get back into these games. It's how they defensive play. They don't have a good defense. They offense don't know how to keep their foots on people next. The people to keep them out of the game. So when your offense stop moving the football and moving down the field, and then you put it on your defense that's not th that good, this is what's going to happen. You're going to lose these games. That's what they need to be at. The Falcons had to find a good defense and an identity because they keep losing these games. Opportunity after opportunity to fail since failing in the Super Bowl against the New England Patriots is crazy to me. You can't look this unprepared. You can't look this scared of success because that's what the Atlanta Falcons are. They get up and they're scared of success. The other team says we can always come back because it's the Atlanta Falcons. And the Atlanta Falcons says we can always lose because we're the Atlanta Falcons. And that starts at the top. What do you say, Rex? What, what, what do you say about this? very specific little moment of failure unlike anything we've ever seen yeah i mean but we all feel it as fans it's the same thing it's like look they're gonna swallow the olive and they do <laughs> and here's the other thing the play calling come on yeah i get it. oh we had a deep ball we just miss it only if we would have hit it yeah how about you get a first down yeah that's what you need they don't understand it they're trying to pitch it way down the field we need first downs and and, and why do you think Tom Brady has success? He ain't always look down the field for a deep pass. He dink it and dunk it. Get the first down. The ball keep moving. He dink it and dunk it. Ball keep moving. Dink it and dunk it. Keep on moving. That's why he who he is right now. That's why the Patriots was able to win games. Win championships. Because we want to move the ball, not stagnant. When you try to throw it deep all the time and you don't get it, they stop it. Now I put all the pressure on the other side of the football on your defense. Learn how to do check downs and dink it and dunk it. Get the first down and keep the ball moving. But when you try to go deep and it's all incomplete, the offense stop right there. It's nothing wrong with check down. It's not wrong running across a route. There's nothing wrong with this looking down and th just keep it moving. But when you do that, this is what you get. This is the result you get. Because your defense is tired when you can turn it, put it on the field, put it on the field, put it on the field. They already is not a good defensive team. But they offense have to have them out also. Keep that clock rolling. And and that's how, how the hell do you blow 25-point leads back-to-back? -back? It never happens. And, and, man, I feel for Dan Quinn. I feel for everybody. But at the same time, you got to understand your team has absolutely zero conference, confidence in finishing. I mean, you need to come out with Mariano Rivera or something. Play Sandman. Do something. <laughs> you got to change it. When you say it literally never happens, that is actually true. What happened to them in consecutive weeks, Dan Olasky, has literally never happened. Final thought. Yeah, Dan Quinn's done in Atlanta, and the Falcons team have cashed out on him. Greeny, unfortunately, I was part of some coaches getting fired in the NFL, and once you as a team on the sideline, in-game, 
start pointing fingers and arguing with each other and, you know, creating these little clicks. It's done. This team is cashed out. They have no confidence in their head coach anymore. And this is too talented of a, talented of a roster to be standing at 0-3. And, and so the question is, why are you 0-3? And, and I can only point the finger at one person. Dan Quinn, the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons, should no longer be their head coach. It's tough to sit here and say it, but it is very hard to draw any other reasonable conclusion.